a fascinating sight is unfolding right in front of us. Dear viewers, the world of Fortnite is an ever-changing one, and its inhabitants change along with it. Often the creatures of Fortnite can be found roaming alone or in small groups. In our last documentary, The Creatures of Fortnite, we have seen a multitude of players like the Architect, the Bush Creeper, and of course, little Timmy who stole his mother's credit card to buy the John Wick skin. Yes, it was indeed a fascinating journey, and we have heard you loud and clear. You want more, and so we will add Fortnite to our repertoire of geographics alongside GTA, and of course PUBG. We are always open for more suggestions for different games, as we would love to expand even further. So please, leave any suggestion you have in the comments section down below, and be sure to subscribe for more gaming geographics. Lastly, before we begin, a question for you, dear viewer. Do you yourself enjoy the 50 vs 50 game mode? Let us know by leaving a comment on the video. And now, it's time for the Fortnite Geographic video itself. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Invasion of Venus. The lands are quiet. We are awaiting the first arrival of the player once again. But this time, dear viewer, a spectacular and rare sight will be unfolding very soon. And so the game begins, just like any other. But this time, instead of small groups, we have two herds of players diving towards the lands of Fortnite. And off they go. They scurry around looking for loot. A hectic but very safe start to the game. A very clear divide between the teams is made, and often, the competitors respect that divide. So they loot. They gear up and ready themselves for the great and only migration. A march towards a victory royale or an unfortunate and untimely demise. The Great Migration is in full effect. Players are running around and firefights are unfolding all around us. The stage has been set for a battle of the ages. And so, at last, the epic clash begins. Dozens upon dozens of players fighting one another. Bullets, rockets, arrows, and explosives are absolutely everywhere. Buildings being constructed, and the battlefield is changing. We see a wide variety of different players taking on different roles. Look over there. A supporter. This creature specializes in taking down enemy forts and battlements, and suppresses the enemy. Then we have the snipers. Sitting back in safety, often in elevated positions try to pick off solitary enemy troops. We have the paratroopers, leaving main offence by using jump pads to get behind the enemies and take them from the rear. We have the demolition experts, using an arsenal of different explosives to push the enemy team off of the battlements. And then we have the fallen. Though they indeed perish in the line of duty, their sacrifice is never in vain. The loot is distributed amongst the remainder of the troops. Just look at them scrambling for the best items, weapons, ammo, materials, and health. Like moths to a flame they flock. It is a scene of absolute anarchy. The fastest are rewarded with the higher end loot, while the weaker, slower amongst them, are left with the scraps. And so the circle of life is complete. Truly a fascinating sight to behold. Everyone working together, fulfilling their role in the ongoing war. But not everyone has a similar mindset. No, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the Troll. A really fascinating creature in its own right. A creature which does not care for the victory, but instead cares only for leaving the entire team in absolute agony. The Troll can be found in the normal world of Fortnite, but in the 50 vs 50, well, the opportunity there is too great for the Troll to pass up. Even you, dear viewer, you are a filthy, disgusting liar if you are trying to tell me you have never shot a ramp underneath your teammate just to see them plunge to their deaths. It is of course in our nature. It's a part of each and every one of us, and there is no point trying to fight that. We are all, in our own way, 
assholes, and that is okay. Now it's time for another message from our sponsors. Hi, my name is Carl, Carl Sprudelscheiser, and I'm CEO of Pump and Jump. We make the best shotguns on Venus, and I can assure you, there is a very steady 5% hit rate. Sometimes it's about 10, but inconsistency is key to our shotguns. And that is exactly what people love about Pump and Jump. We've heard you. You want point-blank headshots to the face, doing a whopping 10 damage. Well, if that's what you want, that's what you're gonna get. And to celebrate, we've replaced every actual functioning shotgun with one of these bad boys. Woo-hee! Grab yourself a Pump and Jumper and start pumping and jumping today! The initial clash is over and many troops are dead. The remaining fighters have started to construct strongholds to make their final stand. The pace of the game has slowed. The buildings are in place, the pieces are set and the remaining players are now in search mode. They are looking for groups of enemies, players holding up between the forts and short and deadly skirmishes quickly unfold. The lands once green and luscious with trees and bushes are now covered in forts and loot of the fallen. Yes, truly a fascinating and wondrous sight. Instead of buildings being tore to the ground, a small city has been erected in such a short amount of time. As the battle progresses into its final stage, the pace changes once again. Victory, it seems, is indeed assured, and the hunt begins. Only one poor man on the enemy team remains, facing an army of angry fought knights. And so, in the face of overwhelming odds, he decides to hide, as hiding is the one thing that he can do in order to try and save his miserable life. He awaits his doom, until the forts collapse and the hordes come charging in. And the other team well, they are just messing around. Here we can see a player attempting to cover up the entirety of Loot Lake. We can see happy get-togethers are being organized. We can see the trolls roaming around freely, practicing their art in peace. And the remaining man on the opposite team, well, he's waiting. Waiting for an inevitable and brutal death. And just like that, the game is over. The Horde celebrates. Another victory royale in the lands of Fortnite. Butler Jeffrey, please fetch a fine gin and tonic for all of these fine men and women. Splendid, absolutely splendid. Dear viewers, please click the eye in the sky for more Fortnite Geographics and subscribe for more gaming content. We plan to expand the series and would love to see you there along with us. Also, be sure to leave the video a cheeky like. That is always greatly appreciated. We thank the sponsors of the channel and as always, safe travels dear viewers.